Elmo Brock, talk to me a little bit about whether the EU would agree to an extension if it wasn't attached to conditions and what those conditions would be. Look, extension for what? You see that in the House of Commons is not any majority for any constructive deal. There's a collision between the Remainers, the hard Brexiteers who do not want to have any deal, and uh, the party political people, uh, Labour, who wants to have a governmental change. And so long as the House of Commons does not clarify the situation for what there is a majority, then there is no need or no purpose for extension. Therefore, we hope that until in the upcoming two weeks which are left, this clarification can come so that we can have a limited extension. Right, but Mr. Brock, as you can see, the political situation has been very difficult in the UK. If the UK were to go to the EU and say, look, we don't exactly have a plan, but we don't want to crash out on March 29th, wouldn't it be very difficult politically for Brussels to say, no, actually, we can't extend? Look, Britain has asked to go out, has written the letter for Article 50 in a two years' time. They should have thought about it before and not afterwards. Now they have to come up the plane. We will want to have a, clear, a clarification on that. And that they should use the next days to do that. The opposition, the government, people in the United Kingdom have to talk to each other. And we need a clarification for what purpose it is. We are in the preparation of the European election. Also because of that reason, we need clarification. And we will not uh, allow that the House of Commons continues to play with us in the same way as they have done in the last two years. But, but a clarification could actually be we just need more time to, to sort it out on our side. Would that be enough, or do you think Brussels would actually rather see a no-deal Brexit? The two and a half years, they had time to sort it out. Do you think if it lasts longer, then Britain has to participate in European elections? That does not make sense. They had all the time of the world to do that. Now they should start to talk to each other. I mean, some are Perhaps saying... right. But, Mr. Brock, some are saying that if, if the U.K. were to organize European elections, then it would almost be, you know, a second referendum without being a second referendum on what the U.K. people really think of Europe. Would, would that be fair? It was a second referendum in May. I do not believe that they need half a year for prepare an, 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 an election or a referendum. Normally, the prime minister calls for new elections. And then they do it within four or five weeks, what not now, then it's the purpose for doing so. Make a decision, we will mm -hmm. do in May uh, a referendum. Right. We will extend.